Right, hello and uh, welcome back to another part in my DIY analog synth project uh, videos. And today I received this through the post and I'm just gonna show you guys and we're gonna have a little take a look. We're gonna have a look inside what's inside the box. And I've got to give a big, big thanks out to uh, someone called Mike who I met through uh, Synth DIY on Facebook has helped me get to this next stage so anyway without further ado I'm gonna uh, open up the box and then we're gonna have a look and see what's going on inside so nicely packaged a bit of bubble wrap and a bit more bubble wrap oh and what do we have here There we go. We have an Advantage 03 VCO PCB. I'm not sure I can break this seal without making it resealable. Let's just take that off. Let's just try that. Let's try the knife again. Take a slice through that. have a look at the boards so here we have it this is the, an Advantage 03 system VCO core PCB as you can see there and now let's have a look at what else lurks inside here we have another PCB, a little quick slice with the knife. Sorry, there's no sort of a uh, finessely way of doing this. I think they've been pretty much like heat short shrink melted together. And there we see, and that's an Advantage 03 LFO core board. This is the LFO, which basically there will be two in the sort of main, as I showed you on the other video before, there's two of these identical LFOs, which, which each have uh, sort of invertible modulation and give you a sort of random wave, uh, triangle and saw. I can't remember if it's ramp up or ramp down, whichever way, but anyway, you can invert all the waves. I'll sort of set up a little system where you can invert those waves. Let's have a look at this one. What's this one? There we go. And this is the PWM and Vibrato LFO board. Let's get this crap out of the way. Sorry about that little uh, jog. Let's see what else is in the box. Oh. There we have. So, just trying to break inside this one. And let's have a look at what we have here. This is the SEM type VCF clone. This is the board for it. So we have the LFOs so far, the PWM, the free pulse width modulation the LFOs, and the vibrato LFO and then we have the VCO core and we should have if I'm not mistaken one more package done right let's have a look see what's inside this one they don't make it easy but still at least I know it's, I can guarantee that they're going to be well packaged so these are basically my first prototypes. Uh, let's have a look at this one. There we have it. We can see that from trying to take that glare off it. That's the envelope there. Let's have a nice look at that. That's the envelope. And that's the back. I think these are dual layered, two layer PCBs. Let's have a look at the air, uh, the SEM VCF core again. 
So or kind of what my plan is if if is to put these in uh the first sort of system I'm gonna build, which is obviously the Advantage 03. If I decide to do a cut down version, I can basically use the same PCBs but do um sort of you know just kind of you just have a different sort of layout let's say for instance i can have a two oscillator version maybe one with three envelopes or one with two sem type vcfs or the steiner parker but this is the basically the first batch i'm going to be populating the boards and then doing a little show and tell on those ones and see if i can get some of these going uh that's it let's have another close-up of that and that's the vco core and that's where i'll expo transistor pair go and we have our temperature coefficient um, resistor goes underneath there and that's the back of the board nice silk screen really really nicely done I'm really really pleased with the outcome of these actually uh, let's have another peek at the LFO again sorry about the glare from the camera let's try and bring it into focus a bit there we go that's the LFO core and that's the back side of it and here we have the PWM and Vibrato LFOs. I've still got the Steiner Parker to come, the Steiner Parker type um, voltage controlled filter, and I've still got to do the uh, VCA boards and the wave folder and the chorus board. And I think that is about it because, yeah, because the glide, the glide on the VCA. So basically, what we have here is the VCO core board, it has the sub oscillator on it as well. So the VCOs that I have in this, the Advantage 03, don't all have a sub oscillator. So that's an option you can leave in or leave out. So, but it gives it that flexibility of giving you the main bare bones of everything which is included with the VCO, which I think was a really good idea. So really big, big, big thanks to the to the man like Mike for helping me uh, convert these schematics into uh, uh, PCB layouts. And yeah, like I said, over this next few, few sort of weeks, depending on parts I can get my hands on, which I'm still sort of needing, I will do a bit of testing and we're trying to go through these boards and show you what's going on. And yeah, we we're trying to take things to the next level, basically. All right. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that uh, like button. And if you dislike it, leave a comment why you dislike it rather than just smashing and saying, I, I don't like it. Construct constructive criticism is all good. Uh, don't forget to share these videos and subscribe. Yeah. And uh, thanks for uh, coming along the DIY journey with me. All right. I'll be back soon, people. Take it nice and easy.